Now, Stephanie, investigators are still pouring over the crime scene tonight, collecting evidence. Also tonight, we've learned the shooter was some sort of contractor doing work in the Delhi area, though at this time, it's unclear as to why he opened fire. What you see here behind me is a command center of sorts where various agencies like Collierville Police, ATF, and the FBI can collaborate while we all try to wrap our heads around this terrible tragedy. Collierville Police Chief Dale Lane putting it plainly. The most horrific event that's occurred in Collierville history. The chaos starting around 1.30 this afternoon when a man opened fire inside the Kroger on New Bahalia Road. Ta -ta 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 -ta, just like that. Bridgenetta Dickerson working one of the cash registers. I kept on saying go, go, go. Running to the back of the store with customers and other employees. And here he comes right behind us, starts shooting. And he kept on shooting, shooting, shooting. With what she describes as a rifle. He shot one of my coworkers in the head, and then shot one of my, one of the customers, in the stomach. Before she lost sight of him. I'm a little bit still, kind of a little shaky, but I'm okay. SWAT and patrol officers flooding the store within minutes. Going aisle to aisle, room to room. Getting customers and workers out. We found people hiding in freezers. And in locked offices. While attending to the wounded. Very serious injuries. Police say 13 people were shot. At least one victim died, with others taken to hospitals. Investigators say the shooter is also dead. We believe that's going to be from a self inflicted gunshot wound. ATF and bomb squad officers cautiously clearing the shooter's car after finding it in front of the store. My past knowledge of these incidents around the country, there have been times where there have been booby traps and things like that. Local pastor Clayton Sellers in the park. Parking lot, praying with workers overcome with grief. And I was here to offer that hope and, and to point people to something beyond, to give something to hold on to in a, in a day of sadness. Yeah, a lot of people need their spirits lifted tonight. This investigation, far from over. Live in Collierville, Andrew Ellis and WRH News, Channel 3.